in this video you are going to learn how to build your own minting website for the solana blockchain it is going to be great because you're going to allow people to connect your to your website connect their wallet and buy your nfts for this you're not going to need any code i have prepared copy and paste instructions i have broken down the video into logical chapters that you can follow along easily i have also left in the description below a link to a project that i have created using this same method it's called the nft lottery and allows people to buy nft lottery tickets on the solana blockchain now without further ado let's start with the requirements and see how this is built before we can create our website we need to install a couple of development tools so the first tool that we're going to need to install is going to be git git is going to allow us to copy and clone different repositories from the web to install it and just like all of the other tools it is going to be enough to copy this command and paste it inside of the command prompt or inside of cmd the next tool that we need is going to be node a javascript runtime environment and the next tool is going to be yarn yarn is a package manager that is going to allow us to install all of the different dependencies and here again the same way to install it is just copy and pasting this command and the final tool that we require is going to be ts node a typescript execution environment now after we have installed all of these tools we're just going to type in git version node version yarn version ts version just to make sure that all of the tools have been installed properly on our system let's start with step one downloading the project files to do this we have to open visual studio and from there we have to open an empty folder i have created previously a folder that is called lottery which is completely empty and i'm just going to open this folder now this is an empty folder inside the terminal from here inside of this folder i'm going to download all of the files that we are going to require we're going to do this with the command git clone and then the path to the github repository of this project git clone is going to allow us to clone all of the files directly inside of this folder that we have selected right here and here they are metaplex and here are all of the files that have just been downloaded all of these files they contain many different things they don't just contain our minting app they contain different things they contain the cli and different other js packages for all kinds of different configurations once we have downloaded all of the file the next thing that we have to do is we have to install the cli so let's pass on to step two in this step we are going to install the cli by navigating first inside of the directory where the cli is stored inside of this directory we're going to see all of the files and we are going to just click on or type in yarn install yarn install is going to allow us to install all of the dependencies that we require for the metaplex cli the metaplex cli is going to allow us to create and mint all of our nfts now in my installation as you can see it's still installing but i do have a couple of warnings and you also see that there is a couple of like node modules that are being created a couple of files that are being created now this installation is going to require some time so while the installation is going on we are going to set up our solana wallet and we are also going to set, set up our solana on our machine we have to install solana on our computer i have done it already so i'm not going to repeat the steps but these are the steps i will be showing them right now i will not be executing them because i have them already installed installing solana is an incredibly easy task we have to go to the doc solana web page the official web page of solana and we can install it either for windows or for mac i will be installing it for windows so we have to copy this command and inside of our command line so cmd we have to paste this command Command. this command is going to create a temporary directory and is going to download the installation file for solana now after that we are going to access that directory and launch the installation with this command right here so this command is going to launch the installation for solana and finally once you have done that as well we can type in the solana version and the solana version is going to guarantee that solana has been installed successfully on our pc and that it is working properly i have been trying some airdrops so typing in solana version gives us the current version that i have so now i can proceed with the other steps and create a wallet on my uh, hardware machine at the same time you should also go and get a phantom wallet which is a plugin for your browser now i will not show you the steps on how to install this because it's extremely easy and i will not waste your time and insult your intelligence by showing you how to do that 
The next thing that we have to do is we have to set up a DevNet wallet for testing. The DevNet wallet for testing is going to allow us to have an account that is going to be able to pay for the initial contract fees for our contract NFT contract. Now we have to get this command right here. This command, once we have installed Solana, if we copy and paste it inside of our terminal, it is going to create a new wallet with the hidden keys saved in this path right here. So this, those keys are going to allow us to add our wallet that we have just created onto our phantom wallet also by using the private keys. So if we paste our private keys in here, we will be able to add our wallet so that we can visualize our wallet also on phantom. Now, the next thing that we have to do is make this our default our default key pair. And after that, we have to change the network to the DevNet network. Finally, we can use the command Solana config get to make sure that everything has been installed and that we are on DevNet. And the last thing that we need is, and I can show you this in my command line, is to get some free tokens. Now, this is the best and best part of all of this is getting free Solana. Now, all we have to do is type in Solana airdrop, whatever quantity of one or two Solana that we need. And we're going to have this directly deposited into our account that we have just created. Now, this is going to allow us to pay for the fees for the contract, and therefore it is required for to continue in the process. Once this is done, we have to configure our NFT contract. Now, to configure our NFT contract, we have to create a copy of the example configure file. The example configure file is in our folder inside of the CLI directory. In here, we'll find this folder right here. Now, we can control C and control V on this folder and create a copy of this folder. We have to create a copy that is called config.json. The config.json file, this file is going to contain our contract. This is our contract. Now let's configure our contract. The price of our NFT is going to be 0.1 SOL. Now the number of NFTs, this is the number of NFTs that we want to sell. I'm going to put 10, we can put 10,000 or whatever number we want. Then we have the gatekeeper. This is to have a captcha on our uh, NFT. Now for other configuration, we can use the Metaplex webpage to check out all of the details. Back in our contract, we're also going to add a go live date. Now the go live date is going to be important because it's going to set Metaplex when or set our candy machine app to the live date of when it's going to start. If we put it something in the past, then we are going to be able to mint or create NFTs immediately. So I will just add the 1st of January. So it's a date in the past so that I can mint my NFTs and test them out immediately. Once this is done, this is the basic configuration for our contract that we require. Let's also add a treasury account. So I'm going to add the account that I have created previously. This is going to be the address. And this is pretty much everything that we need for our configuration. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to create the assets and configure the assets that we are going to upload onto the network. Now, there is already a folder of the assets that has that is an example folder with the JSON file and the PNG. Now, what we are going to do with this, we are going to copy this folder and we're just going to rename it. We're going to rename it just to assets. Now, once our folder is renamed, now we can edit the JSON files that are going to be the and have all of the metadata inside of the JSON files regarding our NFTs. Now, uh, currently, the uh, these JSON files are not formatted properly, so I will just right-click on this and format it properly so that we can see some of the information that is contained in this JSON file. This file, we have to change a couple of parameters. So we have to change the name, for example. We can change the symbol, the image, and different other parameters as well. These parameters are going to be shown on the NFT once it's purchased. Now, uh, all of these parameters are going are the details of the contract that we are creating. Now, these are very important to not mess them up and to write them properly. There is a couple of other things to keep in mind here. There is also the numbering of the different pictures that are also connected to the JSON. So if we name our picture wrongly and give it a wrong 
uh, path to the PNG, it is not going to show up and therefore it is going to result as a broken file. Therefore, we have to be very careful when we are creating these JSON files. I have another video on how to automatically generate from scratch thousands of JSON files and PNG files uh, that can be used then in this process. Right now, we are just using the files from this uh, from this directory. However, I will slightly configure them just so that I have a working example that I can re reference to. Now, the final thing that we have to make sure that we do correctly is change or add the contract address to where we want to receive the funds. We can add as many addresses as we want. In this example, I have added one address where 100% of the shares are going to be. Now we can copy and paste this line, line 14, a couple of times, add a comma in the end and add as many addresses as we want. With this, our configuration is going to be ready and now we are ready to upload the images to our weave our weave is a decentralized storage that is going to store our images forever so this command that i have included in the description is going to allow us to launch the cli machine which is going to upload to the devnet using the configuration file for our wallet that we have stored in the path right in c user mato slash underscore etc using that public key now if everything goes according to uh if everything works you have your paths configured correctly and you are in the right directory you will be uh, greeted with the following message that is going to signal all of the different nfts all of the different uh, files that have been uploaded in this example i'm uploading 10 pngs 10 different pngs and the json files so i will have to wait until 10. Now, Arweave, Arweave is a decentralized block storage uh, blockchain that stores your files forever. So before doing this, make sure that you have uh, checked and configured everything properly so that you don't make any mistakes. Going back and re redoing this process, it is going to be quite complicated and difficult. So you'll have to create a different, uh, a different address as well. Once it has finished uploading all of the files, we can make sure that all of the files have been correctly uploaded. Again, this command is available below. This command is going to make sure and check that the files have been uploaded correctly. And if the files have been uploaded correctly, we are finally ready to mint our NFTs. Before minting our NFTs, let's see what we have created just now. We have created this DevNet example file after uploading all of our files. This contains a path to all of our NFTs that we have uploaded. It has a path to the Rweave website where all of the data is hosted in the uh, JSON file and also on the PNG. We can see that this is the JSON file that has been uploaded and that is going to represent the data is going to be the key of our NFT. In here we have the different information such as traits and also the PNG of our NFT is linked also here. If we did it correctly we should see the PNG. We need to also add the candy machine ID that we got from the previous file. So we are going to rename this file right here in the candy machine uh, we are going to rename it just to environment and right in here we are going to put the id from the candy machine in this file right here that we have uploaded that contains all of the information of our nft it also has the id for the candy machine this is going to tell the candy machine which nfts which contracts to use and is going to associate our candy machine with the nfts that we have uploaded to the devnet of solana now with all of this configuration we should be ready finally to install our candy machine now to install our candy machine is going to be pretty simple but before that you should know that you can still mint your own tokens now that we have set up the uh, cli for the candy machine you can type in these commands and you can mint one or multiple tokens without even installing the candy machine uh, a, uh, application or running it in the browser so if you wanted to create some nfts on the fly you can do that with uh, these commands let's finally set up and install our candy machine application and our minting application basically so the only thing that we have to do is we have to make sure that we are in the correct directory we have to make sure that we are in the js packages candy machine ui directory and into this directory we are going to type in yarn install yarn install is going to 
create all of the dependencies that we require to create our React application. You should know that this is a React boilerplate application, just a very basic application with just a button and all of the requirements that allow it to connect the wallet and do all of the different features and configurations that we haven't really configured in this video. I will be creating more videos if anybody is interested about how to configure whitelist, how to configure pre-sales and how to fine tune our contract in different ways. Our application is finally finished. It has installed. Now the final thing that we have to do is we can type in yarn start and this is going to start our application. Now sometimes in my example right here because I was using a uh, different dependencies on my computer from previous build I had an error. Now after googling for the error and this is what you should do if you should have any kind of issues or any kind of problems from installation you can just google that error or join my discord channel and I can help you out inside of the discord channel. So I found the uh, I found the solutions. I will paste down the solutions in the description of this video in case you have the same error. So the solution was pretty simple. It was just uh, replacing the start and build from my uh, from my com packages JSON file. So every time that I will start or build the file, I will uh, omit certain dependencies. So this is what I changed. And after I change this, if we yarn start our application, it is going to run and start without any problems. So we can see that now it has started. And finally, success success our application has started so it has started on local host 3000 this is on your local environment node is allowing us to run this application and run it inside of our browser on our local machine the application is very basic it has just a a button to connect our wallet however it has all of the functionality that we require it has the functionality to mint all of the nfts to keep track of the nfts to uh, connect to solana blockchain to buy and sell uh, well to sell nfts and other configuration details in other videos i will show you how we can configure this website to fine tune it to how we like and also how we can deploy it to a live website so that other people can interact with it if you have enjoyed this video make sure to give me some comments and suggestions down below to how i can improve the following videos thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one